my channel. Today's video is Motivational Monday and the topic that I really wanted to address is, is the topic of feeling different, having anxiety, having depression, having to deal with bipolar, having suicidal thoughts, being bullied or teased or anything like that. So that is what our video is going to be about this week. So first and foremost, I want to address my hands. And they are a little self-tanned crazy. So really sorry about that, but you know how it goes when you're self-tanning. And they're so much darker than my face. It's ridiculous. So I figure who better to make a video like this than someone who actually suffers from everything that I'm about to talk about. When I was younger, I was bullied and teased and everything like that. I think it actually really started when I was in 8th grade? 7th or 8th grade, I'm not quite sure, but um, my whole life I grew up different. I always felt different than everyone else. I always felt like I was weird. Um, and I don't know, I guess maybe it has to do with my childhood. It could definitely be rooted back to that. I grew up with a not so normal family and I'm not talking just your normal dysfunctional The Simpsons type of family. Um, we were a big loving family but my parents chose to do different things with their time. So let's just get down to it. They chose to do drugs and things like that. Both of them are very open about it um, now. So, you know, it, it is what it is. But I think that really had a huge impact on me. When I was three years old, my parents actually got a divorce also. Well, they didn't actually divorce. Technically, my parents are still married, but they... Um, they separated, so pretty much divorced. When I was in school, I was bullied pretty severely. It started in 7th and 8th grade, and then, see, I'm a very social person, or at least I used to be a very, very social person. I used to be, they called me the social butterfly. I literally didn't get any work done. I was always talking with my friends and having a good time and then I started to get bullied um, and my freshman year was probably the worst year of my entire life. I mean, I was bullied every single day. I would go to school and there wasn't there wasn't a day that went by my freshman year that something did not happen to me. Um, I would get shoved into lockers. I would get called ugly. Um, Pretty much people telling me, just go kill yourself because, you know, you're a waste of time in this world. Um, I was already struggling with school because I had dyslexia, I had learning disabilities, and my dad wanted me to, my dad wanted to put me into special classes, but I was already going through so much that now I'd be called um, stupid and a retard and whatever else on top of all of that. So I didn't let him do it. I just begged him, please, please, please don't put me in those classes. I'm already going through so much of my life in school, and I, I please, please don't. So he didn't, and he was pretty aware of, I want to say 60% of the things that went on in my life. Um, so I grew up as an only child. Um, I have two younger brothers, but they are not my blood. And I didn't really grow up with them. So I grew up alone pretty much for the most part as a child. And um, I didn't have anyone really to talk to. I mean, it was really rough. So I don't want a poor me. I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me in any way, shape, or form. What happened to me through my life is what shaped me into the person that I am today. And the only reason, the only only reason I am telling my story. It is still really hard for me to tell my story. I graduated in 2005 and obviously it's 2014 so you guys do the math. It's been a long time and it's still very hard for me to talk about and it's still very emotional. So I grew up um, by myself and I, my grandma would take me to the doctor um, and I was diagnosed with ADD, chronic depression, this, that, whatever else. So I tried to walk away and things like that, and um, that didn't really work for me. 
they would just keep seeking me out. So the thing that worked best for me was finally sticking up for myself and showing everyone that I I am a person too. I matter too. I I am valuable too. And you guys need to quit bullying me and you need to quit thinking that I am less than you. So finally one day I just snapped and I um voiced my own opinion. I got in a lot of fights and things like that and um, that's not something I'm proud of but it did everything quit after that. All of that I did want to take my own life and um, that's not something I'm proud of either but like I said if my story can help someone else this this is the only reason that I'm telling my story so publicly is because I want my story to at least inspire one person. If I can help one person and let them know that they are valuable and they are worth it and they matter, then I'll feel complete and I won't feel so horrible about um, my past and things that have happened to me. So I'd come home from my day of school and um, one time I tried to take my life and everything like that. So. Then I think it just kind of led into anxieties and you really have to kind of figure out what your triggers for anxiety are. And at the time, I don't know what triggered it, I just had a full blown complete anxiety attack. It was probably all of the nonsense going on in my life. I still suffer from anxiety, not so much depression anymore. I did go into a deep, deep, deep dark depression mode um, because people were, were mean. Kids are mean and you have to know that you're worth more than, than I don't want to say more than them, but for someone to bully you and to put you down and to make you feel like you're not worth it, like you're not worthy of even living, what does that say about that person? They are must be going through something much, much deeper within themselves um, to word vomit rude things to you. So don't take any of it personally because I promise you that it is not you that they're lashing out at. It's something within themselves. It's something they're going on at home or whatever it is that is making them speak these rude words and making you feel awful. I personally want to reach out to anyone who is going through something like this, my email is down below. I don't check it every single day. You can message me via YouTube. You can email me. Um, I'll leave my Facebook page below. You can contact me there. If you're having any suicidal thoughts, please, please, please message me. I know that one thing that really helped me was getting out of high school because things got a lot, lot better. Once I surrounded myself with groups of friends who were more like-minded and more like me, um, then things really did turn up and get a lot better. I can't stress enough that how mean kids and teenagers and stuff like that are. So if you're feeling chronically depressed, if you are having suicidal thoughts, please contact me. Please contact me. I will do everything and anything in my power to help you, to uplift you, to motivate you, to want to live, and no one should feel so sad, and no, nothing someone says should get to someone so much where they want to end their life, and this is something so near and dear to my heart. I cannot even t begin to tell you how much that this hurts me. People Young women and men, whether they are straight or gay or whatever the case may be, people are taking their life every single day. Every single damn day. Someone is taking their life because of what someone else said. Don't be that person. Don't be the reason someone else takes their life. Be the inspiration that this world needs. Be uplifting. Even if it's just a uplifting quote or a positive quote on your Facebook, you don't know how many people that may affect. And even if it's just one, even if it's just one individual who saw that that positive 
you know, quote or your positiveness, befriend them because they 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 need it. I mean, I can't stress it to you enough how much that they need it. Another thing is you can look so put together on the outside. A lot of the people that have so much going on inside look perfect and beautiful and smile on the outside, but they have so much going on on the inside, if that makes sense. Even if you think someone has everything put together and their life is just peaches and cream and butterflies and rainbows, let me tell you, girl, it is not. 90% of the people who wear the biggest smile have the most crap going on inside of their heart. So um, just kind of be aware of that and be kind to people and be nice to people and be positive and uplift as much as you can. That's why I started this Motivational Monday. You just don't know what people are going through and um, people go through difficult times all the time and we think that what we're going through is so bad. There's other people out there that are going through a lot more than you, I promise you. And um, I am in the process of going through my Facebook and actually deleting all of the people who just are negative. I mean, you, you don't have time in your life and you don't, to be negative takes so much more energy from you physically than it does to just be positive or just to smile. Like I said, I'm going through my Facebook and I'm deleting so many people because I just, I can't stand it anymore. I can't stand going through my Facebook. And you can tell the difference between a sad person or a depressed person or someone who's really going through something. And you can tell the difference between people who just want others to feel sorry for them and want the attention. So just kind of be mindful of that when you think that someone's being negative. They may not be they may not be being negative. They may just be having a really hard time. And um, But anyways, I'm sure you guys know the difference between uh, people who just want attention and people who are really, really sad. Um, but I still have anxiety pretty badly. So here's just a few tips um, of some things that you can do. And I still am not a pro. I'm not a doctor. I don't have this anxiety thing completely under control. But... The one thing I'm trying to do right now as we speak is I'm trying to figure out the trigger. I'm trying to figure out what triggers my anxiety. Make a permanent decision on a temporary feeling. I really can't stress that enough. If you really think about those words, don't make a permanent decision on a temporary feeling because that feeling 99.999% of the time, that feeling is going to pass. Let's Everyone in my channel, in my community, let's just, this week, let's just do at least one positive thing for someone else and try and uplift and inspire other people because real women and men inspire and empower and uplift others and people who are still stuck in high school and people who maybe haven't matured yet and aren't grown, they still like to compete against each other and they still like to try to one up other people and be better than will pass and um, especially if it's in high school it will pass uh, it gets better I promise you so that's it I hope you guys have a wonderful day I hope to hear about all the positive things that you guys do this week um, and if you video it. Hashtag me, beautyaddiction87. I would love to see it. Let's be positive this week and just remember, you never know who needs that little positive boost or positive inspiration and you really truly never know what someone else is going through. Like I said, they could be so well put together on the outside but they could have something so deep and sad going on on the inside that they just, they're putting on a good face. So I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.